Hey guys and welcome. So today I am excited. I'm going to be showing you on our live version of the Pioneering Today podcast how to make really simple, easy, do-it-yourself sugar body scrubs for just about everyone on your list including yourself and I'm going to show you how to do it the really simple basic way and then how you can jazz it up really easily with everything that you've already got in your cupboard. So you're going to just need two base ingredients y'all. Sugar right here and olive oil. You can actually use any oil that you want. You just need oil and sugar. So, so you're going to need some measuring cups in order to measure out our ingredients. And then you're gonna need the container that you're going to be putting your sugar scrubs in. So I love little glass jars. In fact, mason jars make my world go round. I use mason jars for everything, of course, for canning, but lots of my homemade body gifts and other items like that, cleaning products. In fact, this is a big old um, mason jar canister actually made by Ball that I've got my sugar in here. So we're going to measure these out in equal amounts. So you'll just want to measure out for the equal amount of whatever the jars are that you're going to be filling. So these, these are actually not canning jars. These are fun little glass jars that are five ounce jars. So what I like is these have a one piece screw on lid. You will want to use a lid with whatever you're putting these in. So this works great because it's a one piece lid. Now, you can also just use, if you've got regular canning jars, this has my vanilla extract in there, you can use regular canning jars and you could use the two-piece system, which is the band and the metal lid as well, or the plastic lids that go down. I will give you a caveat on when you are picking the size of your jar to use to put your sugar scrub in, that I prefer when I'm doing these sugar scrubs to use smaller size jars rather than big ones so that we don't have it sitting for a long time. If you make a big, huge one up at once, you might not use a lot of that sugar scrub enough to go through it before because oil can turn rancid. So depending upon the age of your oil and when you mix these up, I prefer to do my sugar scrubs in smaller batches just to avoid anything going rancid. However, they do have a pretty long shelf life. I mean, these are going to last for months um, depending upon too, that when you bought your oil and how old your oil is. So just to give you a little bit, of, but they're going to be good for months. So if you are giving these as gifts to you know somebody, just know that they will be really good and they're completely shelf stable because our oil and our sugar is shelf stable. So let's get to cracking on these. So for the first one, I am going to be mixing up here. Um, I'm going to be doing because of the size of these jars. We're just going to I'm going to be going with a quarter cup, and then we can add more if we need to. So you're just going to do a quarter cup equal parts. So I've got a quarter cup here of my olive oil. Pour your olive oil into a container to stir. And I could mix it all up in here, but it is easier to mix up if you've got a larger vessel to be stirring in. So now we're gonna just measure out, this is a quarter cup here of our sugar, and we're gonna add that in. Get our spoon here. And so you're just gonna wanna stir this up until all of the sugar and the oil are incorporated together. And it will remain kind of grainy. The sugar dissolves to a degree. And sometimes if you want it, if you don't want it too much on the runny side, like for this one, I didn't do a really careful quarter cut measure out to make sure that these are equal amounts. You can put a little bit more sugar in there than olive oil as well, but it's basically equal parts. So you can make whatever size you want, how much you want, how or how little you want, just depending upon what you've got by adding just a little bit more sugar. So we're gonna add a little bit more in there. Now, one of the reasons that I love sugar scrubs is a lot of times you'll see sugar scrubs in spas or they can be really expensive if you go to purchase them pre-made and they're so easy, oil and sugar, right? But the great thing about a sugar scrub is especially this time of year in the winter months, and this is true if you're a gardener, because you know in the spring and the summer, you've got your hands in the dirt and the dirt totally sucks the moisture out of your skin. And we could wear gloves, but I have to tell you, I am one of those people when I'm gardening, I want my hands down in the dirt. I don't feel like I garden effectively with gloves on. So i am always got my hands getting dirty and then of course they get really dry, the skin does. So this is the basis of our sugar scrub. This is our first one. So you can completely Put it right in your jar as is, just like that with those two ingredients. And it, if I wasn't yakking it, y'all, it'd probably only take you about a minute to make, if that. So you can go ahead and put that in and use that as your sugar scrub right there. But it's always fun, in my opinion, if we get to flavor that up a little bit. And this is where we get to customize it and make it kind of special to the sense that you prefer. 
So I'm gonna do three variations of different scents today so that you guys can see those. So what I'm gonna do with this first one is, is we've, I've got my homemade vanilla here, which if you guys have been joining me, this was one of the first video lessons that we did back in October. So I've got my vanilla extract that has been seeping here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that in this sugar scrub. So we're gonna make a vanilla sugar scrub out of this one. And I actually um, am going to shake it up right now because I want a little bit of the vanilla beans to actually be in the vanilla extract that I'm putting in here. So the purpose of the sugar scrub, which is why it works so great, and so the sugar is an excellent exfoliant. It's actually really good for your skin. So when you've got it combined in the oil like that, the sugar is going to get help scrub off any dirt, dry skin, you know, anything like that. So it's going to exfoliate your skin for you. And then the oil is going to moisturize your skin for you. So when you've got dry skin, it's really a great thing to have on hand. So one of the caveats is sometimes if you've never used a sugar scrub, you're gonna be thinking, I'm gonna be putting sticky, oily sugar on my skin. Isn't that going to be a big old mess? It's really not. So you're gonna put it on your skin, you're gonna rub it in, the sugar is going to do its awesome exfoliating purposes, and then that olive oil, you're gonna rinse, and you're gonna to need to rinse in warm water, not cold, warm to hot water, you'll you know scrub up nice and good, and then you're gonna rinse that off, and the sugar will rinse off, and part of the oil will rinse off as well, but the oil that's left is going to get into your skin, and so your skin is going to be super, super soft, and really well moisturized, after you do this. And I will actually keep some jars in my shower and I will use it in the shower as well. But I will give you one caveat. If you're using it in the shower, just be careful because it is oil that's rinsing down onto the floor where we're standing. Sometimes it can be a little bit slippery. So I'm just giving you a warning. Be careful if you're using it in the shower. But it's great to keep by the sink, especially if you're washing your dishes and when you get done, just to use the quick scrub because it will soften your hands up and it will get that moisture back in because of the oil. So for this very first batch, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of the vanilla extract. And because these are fairly small jars, I'm gonna just go ahead and put in a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. You can also add to this if you happen to have any vitamin E oil, you can add some vitamin E oil to this and that's gonna help for the shelf life and vitamin E oil is really good for the skin as well. But you don't have to have the vitamin E oil in there because the olive oil and the sugar and the vanilla extract are completely shelf stable all on their own. So we're gonna mix that in together and I wish you guys could smell this because it smells so good already with the vanilla in the sugar, it smells super yummy. So I'm gonna just go ahead and we're gonna put this in our first little jar here. And like I said, if you're gonna be using mason jars, I do prefer to use the smaller mason jars. And you may also prefer, these little cute jars that I've got going right here are not a wide mouth jar. But if you're gonna be making this and you're gonna be using a, you know large amounts of it, this would be perfect for um, using as sugar scrubs because our lips get really chapped as well in the winter time. And a sugar scrub is great. And then what I love about this is you don't have to worry about the ingredients because our skin is our biggest organ. So whatever we're putting on our skin, that's getting absorbed into our bodies and into our bloodstreams as well. So I really like to be able to use products like this that I know I, I eat all of these. They're completely fine for me to eat, so I know that they're good going on my skin, and therefore, if I'm using them on my lips, then I know that they're good as well. So here is our first little jar, and you could go ahead and top this off and put a little bit more in if you wanted to. This is our first jar of vanilla sugar scrub. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that one up like this. And if you wanna keep like a little spoon next to it if you're just using a little bit on your hands, but really you can completely, because the jar's not too deep, you can go ahead and dip in and get some of that to use. And you use a fairly small amount. You don't need a huge amount um, when you're using it. So this will actually last and go quite a while, which is great. So the next flavor that I'm gonna make up here, oh, hopefully I have enough olive oil. I've got another bottle in the back here. Okay, so this one that I want to do, I don't know about you guys, but I love the smell of coffee. Love, love, love the smell of coffee. In fact, sometimes I'll just open the canister just to smell the coffee or the coffee beans. So coffee is also a good exfoliant when it is ground up small. And so I'm gonna make a coffee sugar scrub. And you could also add in vanilla and do a vanilla coffee. It would kind of be like almost like a latte flavor if you wanted to. But 
the coffee grounds are great because they help along with the sugar to exfoliate the skin and if you've got any dirt especially if you've got you know really dry or you've been out in the dirt or you know in grease or oil or anything like that for those of you who may be working on cars or messing with that kind of stuff it tends to settle down into the cracks of the skin especially when it's dry and it can be a lot harder to get that out so the combination of the sugar and the coffee so I'm going to be doing, because these are small jars, and you can just play around with the ratio of the ingredients as long as it's about half and half of the oil and sugar. We're going to put some ground coffee beans in here. That, that was about, um, about half a tablespoon there. So I'm going to just stir that up in there. So these coffee grounds will work great. Plus, when you're in the shower in the morning, who doesn't like the smell of coffee to help perk them up, right? So this is a coffee bean one, and you can see, you can still see the little bits of the coffee bean in that sugar scrub and it smells really good too. Oh my goodness, this is gonna make me hungry, you guys. That's one of the things of the sugar scrubs. Now, like I said, you can just put the individual ingredients of just the sugar and the oil in there. You don't have to add the scent and flavorings, but I think that's really fun. Um, you also can put in there essential oils if you want. I will just give the caveat, if you're using essential oils to make sure that they are safe for the skin, and that you're using an essential oil that says it's not just a fragrance oil and it says on it that it's safe to apply to the skin and that it's an essential oil um, that won't cause any issues if it's absorbed into the skin. This is our lovely, lovely, lovely coffee sugar scrub. So we've got that one there and I got a little bit on the counter. Now, if you didn't want to use olive oil, you could certainly use any kind of oil that you want. You could use avocado oil is really good for the skin. You could also use jojoba oil. That is a great oil for the skin. And then for our next sugar scrub, get the last bit of my oil out of this jar before I have to go get another one. This one I'm going to do up and this one is kind of, it's like an apple pie or you could do a pumpkin spice sugar scrub. And again, this is all stuff that we have got in our kitchen cupboards, which I love. And it's super easy to put together. This is something, and this is a great gift you can make for just about anybody on your list because most of us are going to be washing our hands at one point or another and we'll have dry skin in the winter time. So this one needs just a little bit more sugar. And you also, if you wanted to make this um, have a little bit more medicinal purposes, then what you could do is you could actually, you would need to plan ahead, but you could seep your oil with herbs. So you could put some different herbs. You could do uh, calendula or you could do lavender, whatever herbs that you have that you like the scent of. You could, you know, if you were doing it, you could do peppermint, anything like that. You will put in a jar with your oil and you'll leave that covered and you'll let that seep for about six to eight weeks, you'll shake it every now and then, and then you will strain it out so that the, it's kind of like making extract essentially, but you're doing it with oil instead of alcohol and you're doing it with dried herbs. And I should specify with dried herbs if you're going to be going that route so that it doesn't, because of the oil, you don't want the moisture in there because then that could breed bacteria and mold. So you want to do dry herbs with your oil, but you would let that seep and then you would strain it out, and then that would be the oil that you would use as the base of your sugar scrub, and that can be a way that you can get herbal properties into it as well. And of course, it will scent it a little bit depending upon the herb that you're using. Not all of them have a really high scent profile, but some of them do, so that's another tip. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add in some cinnamon, and for this size of a jar, I'm probably going to do a quarter teaspoon of each spice and I'm gonna be using two spices today. We're gonna to do uh, cinnamon, and then I've also got my nutmeg out. You could do ginger, you could put all three in there, you could do a little bit of cloves, how, whatever scent profile that you like, you can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in, let's see, a quarter teaspoon there of the cinnamon. And a quarter teaspoon of the nutmeg. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. And now, so this is kind of like an apple pie spice. You can throw a little bit of ginger in there if you wanted to as well. Um, I'm not gonna put the ginger in this batch, however. And then we're just gonna pour that into this jar. And now you have got three different scented sugar scrubs. Super easy gifts. And these, I like to make up like a whole little gift basket of different homemade body care items. And you could just add this with another gift. It can be a gift all on its own, of course, as well. 
We're gonna get that in there. I'll probably make a little bit more to top this one off, um, but I need to grab more olive oil when we get off of here from my pantry. So there we've got our three different sugar scrubs, which is really easy to do. So a lot of times what I like to do is make up like a little gift care basket. So I'll put these in there and then a hard lotion bar. So if you missed our live tutorial on actually making the hard lotion bars, you can catch that at melissaknorris.com slash lotion bar, no S, that's singular. It's up on YouTube as well. So you wanna make sure that you grab that. I am so glad that you guys joined me. And if you wanna make a lot more homemade things, then you're gonna to wanna to come back here and catch us. And also in my book, The Made From Scratch Life, which is still on sale, y'all, it's 35% off at Amazon at the time of this recording. You can grab this, it's got over 40 plus, it's got cooking and then it's got homemade body care, a lot of more homemade body care recipes. Um, this one is in there on page 136. You can grab that at the madefromscratchlife.com or of course on Amazon and I'll pop those links in there for you. And there's some more fun freebies in that gift as well as how to make the vanilla extracts, but you can grab that as well at melissaknorris.com. So thank you guys so much and I will see you back here next week. Have a great day.